The Second Hands project is an EU funded Horizon 2020 research project. The goals of the project were to create a robot assistant which could proactively offer assistance to maintenance technicians. The idea here is that the robot itself is a second pair of hands, hence the name of the project. This would help improve a worker's efficiency by allowing the worker to concentrate on the skilled parts of their job, whilst the robot takes up the less skilled parts and the more arduous tasks. The Second Hand Collaborative Robot brought together the best technologies in robotic perception, robotic task planning and human-robot interaction. We have developed Arma 6, a humanoid robot with advanced abilities of grasping manipulation, natural interaction and safe human-robot collaboration. The robot has a unique and high level of software-hardware integration thanks to a robot control architecture which integrates sensory motor skills with learning and reasoning abilities. We developed novel methods for grasping objects and maintenance tools by combining visual and haptic sensing with model-based and data-driven machine learning approaches. We developed the methods for manipulating large objects in collaboration with humans. The robot decides how to grasp an object or two depending on human actions. AMA communicates with its human partners via natural spoken language. We have created an all-neural spoken dialogue system. Neural speech recognition, neural dialogue management, neural speech synthesis. One of the key challenges we are facing is how to develop a robot that takes action in an unstructured environment, especially more realistic industrial scenarios. It should be able to do so in a safe and assistive manner. We are developing algorithms and control strategies to deal with realistic scenarios that might happen in an industrial setting, such as avoiding obstacles or detecting collisions with random objects in the environment. At UCL, we have developed computer vision algorithms to provide the RMR6 robot with an understanding of the 3D world around it from the images that have been taken from its onboard cameras. The key challenge for us has been to allow the robot to interact with humans and with the environment in a safe way by using visual data. RMR6 has the ability to detect where humans are and to estimate their 3D pose just from images without the need for the humans to wear any markers. We were able to leverage our expertise on building large distributed complex software systems so that the academics didn't have to worry about gluing their solutions together but could instead concentrate on the technical and the scientific challenges. So this project is a collaboration between academic partners and an industrial partner. It was really great to be in this collaboration because we benefited from all the expertise from the computer vision people that we did not have, as well as the expertise of the group in Germany who brought this fantastic platform. And on the industrial side, it was very useful to have access, in fact, to a use case study and to be able to test the system because we claim that it's very human-like, but to test it with actual worker uh, in the factory, in a real environment, and to also see their human reaction to playing with this robot. I think it was a win-win situation in that sense. Robots with sophisticated manipulation, interaction and learning abilities are key for solving societal challenges and will provide second pair of hands for people in need of help at home and at work. Improved natural communication with robots will lead to higher acceptance of robotic companions and easier ways of communication and collaboration. The achievements in this project are important building blocks towards this goal and towards building humanoid robots with embodied intelligence. The results of this project have shown categorically how robots can amplify the benefits of human expertise. We'll continue to build on these learnings, looking forward to a future when we can use these breakthroughs to apply them in a real-world setting.